Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So will this investigation cause AMC to short squeeze? So in this video, guys, we're going to give a quick update, share our opinion on how we believe this investigation could help AMC share price. So let's go ahead and get right into the video, guys. But before we do, know this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing with you guys my most humblest opinion. So let's go ahead and get into it. So AMC, AMC, everybody is well aware of what's going on right now. All the market manipulation, the dark pools, the uh, the informants, the, uh, what else? The racketeering, the RICO, trying to hit them with the RICO act. We we know, we know what's going on. They investigating Citadel now. They trying to start with the smaller ones, work their way up to the big dogs. So the smaller ones can tell the information they got on the big ones. If they go straight to the big ones, the big ones could possibly know a loophole and catch them slipping from coming after them. And if they catch them slipping and know that loophole that they hit them with, they can potentially mess up the whole investigation and nobody go down for nothing if they aim for the big one first so you already know guys and shout out to the family member in the comment that brought that to my attention because i thought maybe citadel is one of the largest hedge funds now they brought in the most no the most money in 2021 they number one so with that being said i thought maybe they would try to protect them so they can keep bringing in that money basically who i mean by them is the government they all sit at the same round table they know who the biggest breadwinners is they want them to keep being the biggest breadwinners so they can keep you know getting their portion from them so that could be the furthest from the truth and they could be possibly trying to get them all and bring them all down but like i said i want actually believe it until we actually see it with our eyes somebody actually taking consequences and it's not just a fine that's being taken place a fine that they can you know be patted on the back with because they done made so many profits so much profits a few million dollars would be a drop in the bucket to them if they pay a fine it need to be billions they need to lose everything they need to go in a hole it need to be no more of them so let's go ahead and break it down guys if you hear my baby girl in the background it's okay you'll have kids of your own one day but some of y'all on the channel, I know y'all probably got kids, probably my age. So let's go ahead and carry on, though, guys. So my thought process and how I believe the investigation could play out and help AMC share price is not seeing just because the investigation happening, oh, they going to just go and uh, close out these people's short positions and go into their accounts and the, short, the share price is just going to go up. Or what other type of theory y'all thinking? Oh, they know we been getting manipulated. They know we was getting shitted. They know the share price is artificially incorrect. And they know the price should be much higher than what it's currently trading at. They know all this. What, what y'all expect them to do, right? If the investigation come through and say if they pin it all on them, like everything checks out, they say they caught red-handed, they can't get, you know, get out of this, and they caught red-handed. So that means... We know for a fact then they did what they did to us, and that means we should be rewarded for our, you know, for being uh, manipulated like that, for being the bad business, really. We come to this free market with a free will in order to, you know, invest in companies and flip our money, but we getting manipulated. So, what's wrong, baby? Come here. Come get in the video. I ain't want to lose my train of thought. So, we getting manipulated. What's wrong? Hold on. I'm about to get it, Okay. See right here. So we losing our money and stuff. And this supposed to be, you know, a fairness. It's supposed to be fair. So without it being fair, what we expect for them to do, right? What, what I mean, what we wish they could do is but as soon as the investigation go through and y'all get them, we need y'all to bump the price up. Artificially go in there exactly how y'all going in there and tweaking the price now and bringing it down to where it don't supposed to be at. I need you to go up in there and tweak the price and put it to where it's supposed to be, be at. Put it at a few hundred dollars. Put it at a few thousand dollars. Put it at a few five figure, you know, number, wherever it's supposed to be at, theoretically. But we know that's not going to happen. So now let's talk logic. What could actually really happen, though? Because I don't think that would happen. I hope it do. I hope they can do that. But I don't think that's logic. I don't think it's logical. Meaning if the investigation go down, they take everybody down. I do believe from the investigation going mainstream, everybody hearing about it, we already right back at the Without all this even going on, AMC is already destined to make a big move up from coming down so hard. But with all this going on, with the good catalyst, the fundamental aspects coming in, with all this coming in our favor, it's so much 
pressure right now. I could feel something big coming. And plus, with the media and all the attention that's going to be going on with this racketeering and hitting them with this Rico, like this, like the a finance, this is usually what drug dealers go down for. And finance industry, they see it's one big mafia, the world hearing about this. They gonna wanna get in on this AMC movement. Some people gonna wanna get in just to feel, you know, good about themselves. Like, dang, we able, you know, like just to be a part of something good, be a part of something right. Knowing they taking down some bad people that's been manipulating the less fortunate. So people is gonna be with that and for that, the right type of posts go out and go viral, we probably, you know, this movement it'll be back like it was a movement from the beginning and not just something we bought and knew for a fact it was gonna go up because the fundamental of the company was good no we knew this was a movement from the jump we bought it we bought it as a team and wanted to bring more people along because we seen the potential and knew exactly what it could do by us owning the float so with that being said guys once all that news get out there everything starts to get rowdy back up we already in the time frame to where we should already be running back up without any of this but without all this going on that's going to cost and should possibly cause so much buying pressure to help the price run up from you know from this situation guys and when the price run up we gonna have to you know let it run up naturally i don't think they're gonna come in and do nothing uh to help you know put our price where it's supposed to be at and then you probably say if they get locked up how they going to close out their short they still going to have those shorts yes they will but those shorts will eventually close out those brokers will want those shares that they loan it back they will want those shares back because of the time frame after the price action if we get some buying pressure and the price starts squeezing they're going to want those shares back because the risk that it's going to cost them on the on the back end they know they is about to lose so much money due to the everything that's going on those you know the people that's loaning out those shares they're going to see exactly what's going on in the atmosphere and know the risk is too dangerous for them to hold on to those pos positions and they can automatically close them out but we know for a fact that it's no time